Hey guys, it's Sarah. So I am going to do my first giveaway on my YouTube channel. I'm so excited about this. So if you guys participate in my April Abs Challenge, which is in this video that's coming up, and you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment on the video about what you think about the workouts and how your progress is coming, then you will be entered to win a BOSU ball. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Um, for those of you who have been to my channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you enjoy my videos. Today, I just kind of wanted to update people who are new to the channel a little bit about me. I am a marathon runner and I'm currently training for my eighth full marathon, which will be in Nashville at the end of April. I am a mom to uh, three girls. I have an almost nine-year-old and then I have twins who are going to be six in May. And to any twin moms out there, you guys know how... Um, interesting your stomach is after after carrying twins and my girls we I carried I was very blessed and I carried two term and I had two really healthy six plus pound babies I mean that's a lot of baby in there and my stomach was huge so I'll never forget at my six week postpartum checkup laying on the exam table and the doctor asking me if I had any questions and me <laughs> looking down at my stomach and asking him, I was being serious, when is this going to go away? My doctor, at, at first I thought he was uh, joking and he wasn't, he gave me the name of a plastic surgeon and he said if you want that to go away, you are going to have to have surgery. There's nothing you can do about it. So I think... A little part of me that got started on this kind of this health journey was almost to kind of prove him wrong. Like, I'll, I will show you. So I started doing all of these things, and, it, and it's become, it's not a diet, and it's not a chore. It's a lifestyle, and I love it. But throughout the last six years now, I've never really taken the time to work on my abs. I've, I've always just kind of thought, well, it is what it is, and I'm just going to have to live with it. So I am setting a goal for myself for this month, so the month of April, to really focus on my abs and see what I can accomplish just with some hard work. Um, so not replacing any of my current workouts, but adding a lot of ab focus in there. Um, so like the video that I'm about to show, for this ab routine, I did a six mile run on the treadmill and then I went into day for a month and see what my results are. I know I will still have, you know, some, of course I'll still have some stretch marks and I know I'll still have a little bit of that loose skin, but I really, really believe that if I focus on it, uh, both physically and mentally, um, I will make some big improvements. So again, Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about these ab workouts in the comments below. Let me know um, if there are other uh, workout routines you'd like to see me do. And I hope to see you again soon. So the first exercise we're going to do is the butterfly BOSU sit-ups. If you walk into any CrossFit gym, you'll see these really scary machines along the wall called GHDs or glute ham developers. And in CrossFit, they're used for crunches because they give you a full range of motion. So instead, we're using the BOSU ball to simulate those GHD machines and it makes it a lot easier. So you're going to put your feet together and open your knees into a butterfly position and you're going to position your back up against the BOSU ball so that when you arch back and then crunch forward you get a full range of motion. You want to tap the weight overhead when you come down and then when you come up you want to make sure that those hips get to a 90 degree point. You can tap the weight to your feet to ensure that you're getting that full range of motion. And you're looking for 15 reps and we're going to do this three sets. Our second exercise is the L taps. You want to start out in an extended position on your mat with hands overhead and feet flexed. 
you're going to alternate kicking one leg up at a time to try to get your legs into an L-shaped position. And you're going to tap your hands around your leg. This is gonna really give you that full range of motion and alternating the legs is going to allow you to hone in on those side obliques a little bit. As I get tired, you'll notice that my legs start to bend a little. You wanna to try to keep them as straight as possible. You also wanna really try to keep your shoulders and neck relaxed and let your abs do all the work. Because this is an alternating leg move, we're gonna do 30 of these, so it'll be 15 on each side. So our third exercise is the plank rollout. For this, you're gonna need an exercise ball and you're gonna get into a plank position and put the exercise ball underneath your shins out to your feet. And you're going to roll in, try not to use your legs and the exercise ball, but instead using your abdominal muscles. This exercise is easier the closer you get to your knees on the ball, and it's more difficult if you get that ball out closer to your feet. I really should have the ball out closer to my feet right here and am kind of taking the easy way out on this one, but this really does test your stability. Our fourth exercise is called the crab abs. So you're gonna get up into a bridge position and you're going to alternate kicking one leg and raising the opposite arm to meet each other. This really works on those side obliques and tests stability. Ideally, you wanna to try to get that bum up in the air as high as possible. Um, fatigue and the six miles that I ran before this really did play in here, but you wanna to try to get that butt up a little bit higher. We're gonna do 30 of these because it's gonna be 15 on each leg. Our fifth and final exercise is the extended toe tap crunches. So you're gonna lay flat on your back and get your legs up into a 90 degree position. You're gonna use a free weight or whatever weight you have available and you're gonna try to use your abs to get that weight up to those toes. You wanna try to keep those legs at 90 degree, don't let them fall down. Keep that chin and shoulders relaxed and really just use that core to crunch up and get that weight as close to those toes as possible. As you can see with me struggling, it is a lot harder than it may seem. We're gonna do 15 of these and get ready because we're gonna start the whole thing over again for three rounds total. And an exercise ball and a BOSU ball that I could use. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of alternatives that you could use if you wanted to do this workout at home. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the BOSU ball. So the importance of that is that it's gonna give you that full range of motion so that when you sit back into um, to extension, your back is going to arch and that's gonna allow all of those abdominal muscles to stretch out and give you a full range of motion when you crunch forward. Alternative is simply pillows. So I just have some pillows off my bed. As far as the weights go, um, you don't really have to look any farther than your kitchen. So in the gym, I was using a 12 pound dumbbell and it's, it's hard to find things that heavy in your home that you're able to lift over your head. But I found a four pound bottle of tomato juice that can be used as a weight and it's easier to get a hold of. Um, or I have this five pound bag of potatoes. So which, you know, just get creative and you can use um, something that you have in your kitchen. Opening and I just wanna make sure that those pillows are hitting kind of at the low of my back. 
and I'm just gonna reach over him and my chair's in the way right now. But I'm gonna come all the way down to touch so that I get that full range of motion and then I'm gonna come all the way up and touch down. On the exercise ball uh, plank rollout, you really just need something that rolls. So I am using my desk chair. I just lowered it down as low as possible and I'm gonna get into that plank position. And this actually works better because it, you're able to just use your feet and that's the goal. Um, when I'm on the exercise ball, I tend to let my calves, shins um, be more on the ball, but you're just gonna roll in and out. And again, you're looking for 15 of these. Oh, hi, Amy. Are you gonna work out with me? If you had a small dog or a baby, that would be a great time to use them for your workout as well. So, I hope you liked some of these home hacks for your workout. You don't have to have a lot of money. You don't have to have a gym membership to get in shape. So if you want to participate, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment on the channel. And be sure to share it with your friends. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys take this April Ab Challenge with me.